Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vlu, Vlu, Vlu. And today we're gonna be blasting Colorado's blood incantation, interdimensional extinction EP on Dark Descent Records. Do I really need to say anything about these four tracks of total cosmic death metal goodness? On Dark Descent Records, this is seriously so fucking good. Which was followed up with the Mighty Star Spawn LP, which, again, absolute, just some of the best death metal in years. I cannot recommend Blood Incantation enough, and this is a great record to get into the band with alongside Star Spawn. But I do know a lot of people that prefer this over Star Spawn, which is kind of weird. But different boats for different folks, I think all of Blood Incantation's materials fucking fire, but that's just me, but Interdimensional Extinction EP on Dark Descent Records, fuck yeah. If you're a fan of Demi Lick, Time Ghoul, yeah, you're gonna love it. But, uh, today I want to talk about one of my favorite old school death metal artists, who in recent years have pretty much got a new lineup and uh, have started things up again on another level of where they once were. And I'm going to be talking about Embalmer. This is Emanations from the Crypt on Hell's Headbangers. So fucking good. But first, I got into Embalmer back when there was blood everywhere. Was pretty much their main focus like it was the only thing I really knew that was available from Embalmer I didn't know about you know the demos and the EP that came before that all I knew was there was blood everywhere was badass to me but a lot of my bandmates used to give me shit for it and especially my friends the same friends that used to bust on me for liking incantation mortician etc that stuff seriously like, you would get your balls busted by certain people back in the, the day, depending on what type of death metal you liked. Like, I remember when Necrophagus was coming around with, like, Offset of Putrefication? Or Onset of Putrefication? Whatever their first album was, when, like, that whole, like, German technicality came back into, like, death metal. Like, just technical death really, really was you know, what everybody was striving for with bands like Spawn of Possession, Beneath the Massacre, etc. I was still listening to Mortician, Hacked Up for Barbecue, and all that other stuff. But yeah, I was listening to, you know, Naraxis and shit like that as well. But I still preferred Cryptopsy, None So Vile, when it comes to technical death metal. And I still, I would prefer just to listen to, like, knuckle-dragging, cavernous, caveman death metal. But, Embalmer, back in the day, just had these pretty much one-of-a-kind vocals. I would say the only band close to them vocally would be Macabre. But they just had this vocal sound that I loved. The imagery of the artwork was just very dark, bleak. I fucking loved everything about Embalmer, and I got a lot of shit for it, and I don't care. Fuck those people. But, for Embalmer's latest emissions from the crypt, I just, wow, completely blown away by this release on Hell's Headbangers. I seriously could not get over how good this was. I was just kind of expecting just, you know, kind of a mediocre release, to be honest. Like, I knew that they had some lineup changes, so I did not go into this really thinking too much of it until I fucking put it on and uh, Dead Female Stalker kicked in right into I Am The Embalmer, and automatically I was like, what the fuck? This is awesome this is the embalmer i loved but times a thousand it was 
like all the parts of like there was blood everywhere that I felt like were lacking emanations from the crypt just fixed those problems like the sound oh my god first off like I always felt that there was blood everywhere was a little bit too quietly mixed where emanations from the crypt is loud as fuck where it needs to be and that's in the vocal department the vocals on here holy fuck seriously holy fucking shit some of the best gutturals in the game and also some of the most original vocals as well now how can gutturals be original I'm not really talking about the guttural department. I'm talking about that little vocal good cop, bad cop that they used to have going. Used to have this one really, really high vocalist. And he kind of sounded a tad silly at times, but like at other times it worked perfectly. And it was like, yo, this is sick. Because like they would go from these really high vocals into like the lowest sewer drenched gutturals you could possibly imagine and it fucking ruled but on a mis emanations from the crypt they take that like vocal delivery but when it comes to the higher vocals they very very much reduce their usage and when they are used they're used like it fits perfectly and then right back into a straight brutal as fuck death metal assault on emanations from the crypt all thanks to this new lineup and first off i want to show you this chris moyen cover art and the inside is done by mark riddick so you have two of the best death metal artists in the game doing your artwork awesome chris moyen piece i need to grab this on vinyl because this sounds amazing on tape I can't imagine how great it sounds on vinyl, and it sounds great on the computer even. But there's your Moyen cover art, which I would love to have in 12 inch format. Even a picture disc, this is great, but I want the Mark Riddick stuff as well. Look at that fucking shit, it's amazing. Just gore riddled fucking death metal artwork. I love this shit, especially this. This human meat grinder is just one of the cool. I would love to get that tattoo. Seriously, like I, I've been thinking about it. Like if I can get some extra money, I would love to get that tattoo somewhere on my body. I just need to figure out where. It's just so sick. Like the dude's just fucking grinding himself to oblivion. It's awesome. And. Here's the lineup for this release. I love this dude's mortician shirt. It's awesome. And uh, you have Steve Pedley on lead guitar, Paul Gorfiend on vocals, Roy Stewart on drums, Joe Wanderlet on bass, and Brian Baxter on lead guitar. And you get 12 tracks of pure old school filthy fucking guttural driven death metal seriously emanations from the crypt is such a good name for this release because that's what this is to me this is embalmer crawling out of the death metal crypts and just coming back with a fucking vengeance and this release to me is their strongest material to date this is everything I loved about early in Bomber, but just up to 11, for lack of a better term. <laughs> That's what this is, seriously. Emanations from the Crypt is just one of those death metal releases that it's just so perfect for what I expected it to be and for what it is in general, which is just one of the better death metal releases in the past couple years and i'm not just saying that i'm being dead fucking serious all 12 of these tracks including the outro so technically 11 tracks but the graveyard fog outro is fucking great which uh brian baxter uh 
composed and whatnot. It's fucking sick. But all 12 tracks are just amazing. But my favorites, we have Dead Female Stalker, I Am The Embalmer, which start things off. Those two tracks are two of the best. But then you have the title track, Emanations From The Crypt, The Coroner's Report, Undead Exulsion, The Casket Calls, Procession of Bones, Botched, which is another of the best tracks on here. Reduced to Human Scum, The Apocalyptic Rains, They Can Smell Our Blood, and The Graveyard Fog Outro. Twelve just amazing tracks. Well, eleven just gore-riddled death metal tracks from the crypt, literally. And Emanations from the Crypt by Embalmer is just amazing. If you like your death metal, old school, fucking gore riddled, and just heavy as fuck, you cannot go wrong with Embalmer. Seriously, like, it's just so fucking good in every way. Like, from the layout, to the music itself, the riffing, oh my god. But most of all, the vocals make this stand out from the rest like seriously some of the best gutturals in the game and that's my opinion but emanations from the crypt is just it's a great death metal release and it sounds great on cassette it sounds great digitally i need to snag it on vinyl because it's one of those tapes that i know i'm gonna wear fucking through because as you can see i keep listening to it and listening to it I love the way this sounds. Like I said, I took this from Decibel, but through a rumbly speaker, this just sounds so fucking sick. I'm sure if you have a fancy cassette deck that sounds even better, but through the Ghetto Blaster, it sounds fucking old school, filthy, and just awesome as hell. Emanations from the Crypt is just that. Fucking pure death metal gold. From a band that I thought was dead and buried a long time ago. But I'm glad I was wrong. And I'm glad that Embalmer really, really, you know, stuck to their guns. Didn't really change too much of their original formula. They just fucking improved on it. And Emanations from the Crypt really, really showcase their maturity. And just, you know, overall gnarliness when it comes to the death metal side of brutality. And Embalmer just carry that torch so well on this Hell's Headbangers release. And I cannot recommend this enough. And their earlier material as well on Relapse Records, it's fucking pure fire. But it doesn't get really much better than Emanations from the Crypt. Embalmer. I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. I love this stuff. I know you might say, oh, you're being biased, but seriously, if you love death metal, and especially, like, filthy, gore-soaked, guttural-ridden death metal, you're going to love this. As worms and maggots fucking slither through your speakers, you're going to be like, thank you, Emanations from the Crypt. Thank you, Chanel, for introducing me to Embalmer. If you've never heard of these guys, fuck yeah, you're gonna love this release. Seriously. On Hell's Headbangers, I recommend grabbing this on vinyl and cassette. It's just fucking sick. But if all you have is a CD player, grab that on CD. It's completely worth your time if you're a fan of death metal in any way, shape, or form. But mostly, if you like your death metal with, like, gnarly gutturals and just awesome riffage can't really go wrong with Embalmer. They do old school death metal the right way. And we've been blasting Blood Incantations Interdimensional Extinction EP on Dark Descent Records. Pure fucking fire. And as always, you guys fucking rule. Thanks for watching. And yeah. Hails. Mm -hmm.